Good evening, everyone. This is George with our Cross Country Mission. I certainly hope everyone's doing well this evening. I just want to take a moment um, to talk to you about what Jesus says the end times um, will look like. I'm not saying that we're living in the end times. I'm saying that, you know, one can look around and judge it with the judgment of comparison with what Jesus says it's going to look like. And if you still retain the ability, now I know that there's a few of us that don't like to think for ourselves, that would rather have our thinking done for us. But I'm not one of those people, and I certainly pray to the good Lord above that you're not one of those people either. Um, so as I read through this, just, just think about what, what's going on in the world and, and where you fit into this picture and where everyone fits into this picture. See if it sounds familiar. He says, take heed that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, saying that I am the Christ, and will, see, and will deceive many, and you will hear of wars and rumors of wars, for all these things must come to pass. He said, but the end is not yet. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. He says, and there will be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in various places. All you got to do is Google earthquakes and earthquakes are on the uptick the intensity of the earthquakes is becoming more intense all the time uh, and the frequency is certainly increasing as well i don't know if you've been to the grocery store but this is no secret all the shelves are starting to, to become empty uh, they've closed big poultry our largest poultry producers down in the country uh, beef producers as well um, they're going to control us with the food and with the water. Um, that's just a fact. And I mean, if you don't accept it, you don't accept it. But the t time will tell. And it's already written about everything that's going on in this world right now. has already been talked about. So it says, all of these are only the beginning of birth pains. It says, then you will be delivered up to tribulation. And you will be killed and hated by all nations for, not, for my name's sake saith the Lord. That's what Jesus says. So if you've given your life to the Lord and you believe certain things, maybe if you believe revelations and this mark of the beast thing, church is going to fracture. You know, some people will catch it. Some people won't. Uh, some people may uh, think something that's the mark that's not the mark. I don't know. I'm just saying this is what the Lord says. He says many, will, many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. Sure ain't no love in this world right now, is there? Sure seems like there's a lot of hate, and it certainly seems like lawlessness is on the uptick in this world we live in. He says, but he who endures till the end will indeed be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom of God will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will will come I don't want to take up too much of your time I just wanted you to take this what Jesus said and sit back and look at the big picture of what's going on in the world today uh, maybe tomorrow we'll talk about the beast the mark and and see what you think about that anyways it's Georgia the cross country mission I love you we've got great news that that we're going to share with you as soon as my wife gets back well, from Springfield which should be in the the next couple of days very excited very blessed praise god for his goodness i love you and jesus loves you y'all have a great and blessed day